folks, I'm Jonathan Wilson. This is another bass drum blog, and this is an acoustic guitar viol, uh, one I recently built for uh, Paul Charisse out in uh, the UK. And uh, this is very typical of the ones I'm building now. Um, it is a carved arch top, carved arch back, fence sides. Uh, essentially, uh, outside of aesthetic considerations, built exactly like how violin builders built in terms of uh, the inner structure and everything like that. Um, this one has coca bolo fingerboard and tailpiece. Um, of interest uh, is right here I've got this thing called a leg peg and it's not really for sticking it down the floor like cello players like. It's designed so that when you uh, put your leg around it you have the stability of the instrument back intact and but you have that guitar playing stance and um, you know that uh, early uh, guitar viol kind of stance that uh, centuries old paintings depict anyway. Um, the headstock is uh, its like the Persian slipper shape. It's inspired by the one that uh, it, the arpeggioni that uh, Stouffer built uh, back in the early 1800s. Um, and uh, outside of that we have a little plug jack here so that uh, when we need to play live we can you know plug in the sound system. And what I did was, I made it so it's a jack plate that we can remove whatever pickup it is. In this case, I've got a contact one right here. Um, as technology changes and we try out different pickups, we're not stuck. And so we, we have the same plug and we can just put in whatever uh, the uh, pickup du jour is of the, of the future. Who knows, maybe at some point it's just all going to be wireless and we'll throw a little thing on there. And, you know, but for the time being, we'll have a good little jack there. Uh, the finish is uh, done in a French pi uh, polish fashion, um, and I used a more of a modern medium uh, called KTM 9, which uh, is very much like uh, lacquers, except it, uh, it's less nasty to work with. Um, another feature on this one is the cutaway. Uh, the cutaway. Actually, you can see the, oops, hit the leg back there, um, follows the neck heel. So our hand can come in really nice and close. And that's uh, pretty typical of uh, what I'll be building um, in these. Uh, the uh, neck I did sort of in the uh, violin fashion where it's got that sort of, uh, you know, not finished area, uh, typical of violins. In any event, uh, this is, uh, the guitar viol du jour, uh, hand built right here in Silmar, California, home of the uh, wildfires, which uh, kept me running and kept me running around with this a little bit too. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm Jonathan Wilson. This is the Bistro Blog from Toga Man Guitars, www.togamangutars. Thank you for listening. Bye.